but who knows February has a reputation for being the snowiest month so hello welcome to the vlog I've grabbed the camera come running outside or running you know I've come outside um, to try and just capture something in the last of the afternoon sun I'm probably a bit late if you look over my shoulders you can still see the sun up on the mountains there's sun over there there's not sun where I am but this is better than you watching me staring at a computer screen at least I think so Having got back from what was by general consensus a very good winter camp last week this week I spent most of my time just being snotty and completely drained out um, which I think was just yeah a little bit too much exertion there on the camp side of things a little bit not enough sleep um, was probably yeah I reckon I got about four hours a night probably a contributing factor anyway here we are so good as the camp was there was a couple of weird things about it one of them was that sadly due to a dates mix up it happened a week later than we had planned and so all the kids we wanted to bring from Yaitza were at school but I was away in Germany on a trip that was already planned so I was kind of on my own from here I was on my own I was the only person from here um, who, who went and although I had a great time and really enjoyed it and it was a really good camp it felt a bit odd being the only person from Novi Most in Yaitza at the camp the other thing that was really odd about it was it's the first time I've gone to a winter camp as like one of the leaders where I haven't been snowboarding before we went and the reason for that is although to UK viewers it might look like there's snow around there really has been no snow here in Yaitza this winter at least not when we've been in town and snow kind of not enough up on the mountain but there has been some snow um, ski centre hasn't opened we haven't been snowboarding looking at the forecast there's no chance we're going snowboarding anytime soon which is very sad um, not just for us but actually for the group of young people we have here who didn't get to go to camp who would like to go snowboarding so hopefully something changes By the time you see this, there should have been fresh snowfall on the mountains around Sarajevo, but nothing of any great significance, like only a centimetre or two on the mountains near us where we would go to snowboard. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit sad. It's not shaping up to be a good winter of winter sport activities. But who knows? February has a reputation for being the snowiest month, and although the forecast is still not good in terms of, like, it's still in low single digits and no snow forecast that's not good from my perspective um, for next month who knows things could change um, we're back at work course is all going and that's that's really good um, it's exciting to have a bunch of new people starting as well um, and it's always good I love that that um, the music teaching we does advertises itself people hear about it they contact us carry and come whether it's with Rowan and the violins, whether it's me doing guitar stuff or keyboard stuff or bass stuff, or whether it's Budo with the drums and the guitar. So it's really exciting to see that continue. We're also just over halfway through season two of the radio show Perspectiva. Me working with Senka like to help do that. And so, yeah, that's some of what I've been doing this week while I've not been going out and doing other stuff. Um, just a bit of recording bit of editing right now I've got a couple of the radio shows uploading to YouTube which is what we do with them after they've been broadcast they go on YouTube and they go on SoundCloud so people here can listen back to them and so yeah that's exciting and then once the season is done we sit down to work out what happens for season three where do we go with that this is new I think you can see that all in one shot look at that Oh yeah, the creative things you can do with concrete never ceases to amaze. So I hope this vlog has filled you in a little bit. I'm sorry that it's not more exciting, but you know, and life, it happens. Anyway, you get a quick look around town on a Friday afternoon, out of it, it's plus four. That's what it says over there. 
I did talk to Rowan last night about her doing the vlog this week and talking about stuff she's doing and doing it while she was running this morning. The problem with that is when she goes running she actually runs and so it was a bit of a non-starter. She, she did 12 kilometers or something this morning and uh, yeah reminded me that it's only 30 days until we go to split um, to run. She'll be running a half marathon and then I'll be running 5k. I'll start training maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe tomorrow means maybe tomorrow or maybe it means sometime. As we're talking about running the other thing I should say that's kind of newsworthy is Bosnia and Herzegovina has been having some of the worst smog air pollution in the world recently and particularly in Sarajevo where it's been not quite off the charts but really top of the charts. Number one I had to pop into Sarajevo one evening last week on the winter camp and having had this beautiful sunny day on the top of the mountain which if you watched the winter camp vlog you'll have seen just how nice it was out there drove down and down and down and then just pff, into the smog into the twilight zone and it really was a really weird experience and it's just like obviously a lot of it's to do with old cars and people burning stuff that isn't wood as well as the wood in their wood burning stones and all of that and then there's geography a valley there's not a lot of air that goes through there so it's not a good river to kind of tug it all out and so it just sits there and really really is something so yeah that's not ideal training conditions the ice has been reasonably bad not super awful but reasonably bad and you can definitely smell it on the bad days um, but it's not really good to be out and breathing loads of that in so there you go a training challenge and yet another excuse for someone like me to just postpone a little um, my return to yeah, that so I think that's probably it I think I've probably said enough for this vlog um, thanks very much for watching do give us a big thumbs up for updates and uh, leave us a comment or question if you want to know more and remember that together we do adventure we'll see you next time